South Sudan's national men's football team coach says his team has the potential to become one of the best teams in Africa. The football team beat Uganda in November 2020 in the Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers and hopes are high for South Sudan's rising stars, as CGTN's Patrick Oyet now reports. South Sudan's national football team has registered its first win in the Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers against Uganda. The match was played in November 2020 in Nairobi, Kenya. The team's coach says given the right investment in football in South Sudan, the team is capable of becoming one of the best on the continent. We got young players that we just picked from, uh, from the local league and you could see them competing against top professionals and giving their best, playing with all their heart. That already I feel, I feel that joy, that success. Uh, uh, in Currently, South Sudan plays its home games in Khartoum or Nairobi. That's because the only international stadium in the capital, Juba, is under renovation. The Juba National Stadium is being upgraded using money from the FIFA Forward Program. FIFA has given five million dollars for the project. Upon completion, the stadium will be a 7,000-seat facility capable of hosting international matches, but there have been significant delays to the work on the stadium. The project was scheduled for completion in April 2020. South Sudan's government says the delay is due to the pandemic and the complicated logistics of transferring the money from FIFA. It is asking the public to be patient so that the stadium, once completed, meets international standards. According to, to preliminary uh, in, uh, committee report that I got from the expertise and technocrats is that this stadium would last for long because it is now based on a concrete uh, building. The national football coach says playing home matches in Cuba would really help the team. I will be over the moon when we, when we start playing our home games uh, here in Juba and when we'll be able to have uh, thousands of one of our fans uh, flocking in to support us. I think that that will be a big, a big boost uh, for the team. South Sudan's domestic league remains suspended due to COVID-19, but the government has designated one vice president to oversee sports development in the country. Patrick Oyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.